most people try to fix their slice by changing their golf swing. But I'm here to tell you that the easiest way to do it is to get the ball in the right spot. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And the vast majority of golfers that I see that come to my lesson tee slice the golf ball and they immediately want to start working on their swing. But as a skilled instructor, the first thing I'm looking at is ball position. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Something as simple as ball position will drastically change the way that you swing the golf club. So we're going to talk about a ball position that's too far forward. We're going to talk about a ball position that's too far back and the shot that that will promote. And then we're going to talk about the proper ball position. So I've got a six iron right here. I've got my Reimer short game right here, training aid, which is perfect for ball position because it's got the nice slider on the top. It's got nice numbers, easy to work with. So we're going to start with the slicer. So typically if you're slicing, this is the first place you're going to look. Most people who slice the golf ball have the ball too far forward. So they've got the ball all the way up here. I've got the slider up here to four. So they've got a ball position that's way up here to, to the position of four. Now when they take a square stance, when the ball is too far forward, what happens is, is their trail arm, their right arm, you'll see this from down the line, gets high and above the lead arm. Okay, it also changes the angle of the shoulders. It gets the shoulders aimed to the left of the target, and it gets the right shoulder high and the left shoulder low if you're a right-handed golfer. So it puts you in a position, ball forward, Trail arm high, shoulders open, and even the hips get a little bit open. Now from this position, it's pretty natural to swing the golf club out, up, and across your body. Let me go ahead and actually hit one. So here we are, balls forward, trail arm high, out. Okay, pretty solid, but definitely weak ball flight and definitely has some fade to it. Now, why do golfers do that, okay? Because you see it all the time. Well, most people watching this video, you're trying to get better at golf, you're smart, you're intelligent, and you hit a couple shots that go to the right if you're a right-handed golfer. Well, it doesn't take very long before you think to yourself, well, that's not gonna work, the ball's going to the right, what should I do? Well, they start aiming to the left, and they start moving the ball forward to adopt for the right ball flight. But what they should be doing is just the opposite. So let's talk about the opposite. What if I had the ball too far back? So we are on four, what if I moved it all the way back here to negative two? All right, here we go. Still trying to go relatively at the same target, but I've moved the ball position way back. Okay, my feet are hopefully pretty square to the short game trainer here, but because the ball is back, what you'll find now is now the, just the opposite happens. The lead arm gets high, the trail arm gets low, the lead shoulder gets high, the trail shoulder gets low, and this sets me up on this type of angle where I'm gonna swing in and up and to the right. So let me go ahead and make a swing here. Okay, once again, a solid shot, distinctly different ball flight, lower and had almost, I wouldn't say a hook, but definitely a little bit of a draw. I've got a slight left-right wind here today, so it didn't turn over as much as it would with no wind. So those are two extremes, right? When the ball's too far forward, your angles get tilted this way. When the ball's too far back, your angles get tilted this way, all right? So what should the proper ball position be? All right, well, here we go, I got a six iron. And what you'll notice, I'm putting the ball right in between those two divots. You see that? <laughs> so you can see where, where we're going with that. I was way back here on the negative two. Before I was up there on the four, I'm gonna put it on positive two. Just ever so slightly forward of center. Now when I take my stance, my feet are still square, but now hopefully my shoulders are relatively level. My arms basically look like they're one down the line. Remember the old position, ball too far forward, ball too far back. Now I'm kind of in a neutral position. I'm gonna make that same swing. I haven't changed my swing on any one of these. Here we go. Okay, caught it a little bit thin because it wasn't my best swing, but the ball was definitely pretty straight. So when you start thinking about fixing your slice, don't start thinking about your swing. Start with ball position. My guess is the ball might be too far forward. Move it back, get your shoulders and your body lined up correctly, and what you might find is you've improved your slice or have gotten rid of the slice by simply changing the ball position.